guys, it's Chelsea and welcome back to another video. Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be breaking down my July budget by paycheck. So I am going to be using my budget by paycheck workbook from the budget mom. I did purchase the PDF version and that is what we're going to use. And we're also still going to use stickers and stuff, but we're kind of switching it up a little bit. So this month I decided that I wanted to um, go ahead and take you guys on like my actual step by step process that I actually do for budgeting so that you can kind of see how I think and how this budget works for me. Let me go ahead and get everything set up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so let me go ahead and give a little disclaimer that I am 100% unsure of how this is really going to work because I am using a new budget planner. I needed something where I can take the pages in and out just for me. I was kind of getting tired of writing against that coil. So let's cross our fingers and pray that things work because I didn't actually reformat the kit because I already had the print the kit printed and then I saw this and I love this design and I was just like you know what this might make my life a little bit easier so yeah this is what we're working with so I'm gonna go ahead and just take out a page and we're gonna work with it and see what we can do with it I'm hoping this works out better for me y'all cuz I'm tired at 12 for real so here I have my July calendar from the budget by paycheck workbook let me scoot the share in Okay, um, if you guys haven't seen the overview for it, I did do a video for it. It should be posted before you see this one. So go ahead and take a look at that and see like my process thought, how I use this to set up my bigger monthly overview because I keep this in a totally bigger and separate binder as you can see. And I like for my budget to be in something smaller. So if I need to throw it in my purse, I can throw it in my purse and keep it moving. And then I also have the July Paycheck Bill Tracker. So I think we're gonna start by filling the Paycheck Bill Tracker out first because it just makes more sense. So let me zoom y'all in so y'all can see. All right, so what I do for this income section, um, I always put my income from my full time. And also my savings and here's why I do that I put savings because if you guys don't know I do get a mileage check from my job when we are like currently in the office driving around stuff like that the past few months has been a little different because as y'all know we have been working from home so yeah um, also disclaimer I'm not putting in actual numbers um, with you guys so you kind of won't be able to see like my leftover or whatever but I will explain exactly how the leftover would work and here I will put my paycheck date which I get paid every day at the end of the month so if you don't know my previous month's checks pay all my bills for the following month so this is my July paycheck bill tracker but it's my June check so I know it can be kind of confusing, especially to someone who gets paid every two weeks because when I first started getting paid like this, I was so confused because I was used to getting paid twice a month as well. All right, so bills. First up, we have Wave, which is my Wi-Fi, and that is on the first of the month, and that is budgeted $86. Then I have, and if you're wondering where I'm pulling this from, I got my calendar to the side. Y'all just can't see it. <laughs> then I have iTunes, which is budgeted to come out on the 6th. And that is 99 cent. And then I have Silhouette, which is budgeted to come out on the 8th. And that is 1301. Um, The only bills that I have on AutoPay, you guys, are my iTunes and my Silhouette that's it and that's because you have to set those things up um because silhouette is a re reoccurring subscription and itunes is as well so that's why that's set up like that other than that your girl would have nothing on auto pay because i don't like auto pay but we're gonna say that story for another day i also have another itunes now this is actually for 
I skipped something, but I'll go back. This is actually for my um, Apple Music. This is for my storage. Don't ask me why I had to get storage. And then on that, on the top of that, I just got a new phone, which I'll get to that when we get to cell phone bill. And now your girl probably don't even need the storage, but whatever. So back to the eighth before I forget. I always forget this bill. I don't know why. Personal loan is due. And I'm going to be giving that $190. Yes, next up is my Navy Federal credit card and I'm paying that on the 15th, I suppose. I'll probably pay it before, but I am giving it $350. Now y'all, I did just look to see what my minimum payment was because I wanted to see how much extra I would be paying for my minimum payment and they don't have a minimum payment down for me yet, so I don't know, I don't know. On the 17th, Sprint, uh -huh, y'all, I will be giving them my last. Oh shoot, I didn't even write that down. I will be giving them my last $145. Now, hear me out, you guys. This was for one phone, one line. Don't know why, don't ask me why. Um, so what happened was my husband has T-Mobile and it is way cheaper for me to be on T-Mobile. So I went ahead and I paid my phone off with Sprint, which wasn't that much. It was like $250 and I paid it off so that I could own the device. And then T-Mobile was running this special where, um, you turn the phone in. So I had an iPhone 10, you turn the phone in and they give you credit towards the iPhone 11. So basically I got a $700 phone for free for turning my iPhone 10 in that I now owned because I paid $250, whatever, that I now own um, into them. And so then I also got a rebate value of the phone. So they valued my old phone at like 200 and something dollars so that paid for me to get a phone case a screen protector activation fee taxes and services so out of pocket we only paid eight dollars for my new iphone 11 and it's mine it's paid off in full i don't gotta worry about no lease i don't have to worry about nothing and it only added like thirty dollars um to my husband's plan and for me him and another person that's on his plan the whole entire bill is still cheaper than what i was paying sprint for 145 so i did get rid of it now i did talk to my friend who's like a financial advisor and she did tell me that because sprint was my longest line of credit my credit score may take a hit but it will bounce back in a few months so your girl ain't even gonna worry about it i'm just like okay all right cool Next, we have car payment. So yeah, I'm gonna be so excited in August because I can take this money and you know, do elsewhere with it. The car payment is due on the 24th and that's $482 and that I ain't changing. I'm not paying student loans this month, y'all. I just, I can't do it. It's like, I can do it, but I mean, I might as well take advantage of the fact that I do have a few more months left where they're not expecting payments and they're not charging interest. And for real, I gotta get a handle on like this credit card debt and stuff before I can even think, even think about anything else so yeah and let's go ahead and throw my cushion in which is going to be 55 dollars y'all this video might be long <laughs> oops all right so let's do my bill total for the month let's bring my phone up okay can y'all see that i need to brighten my screen i guess oh it's all the way up i guess okay that was real country of me. I was just being funny, but anyways, all right. So we got 86 plus 0.99 plus 13.01 plus $5.44 plus 
190 plus 350 plus 145 plus 482 plus 55 equals. All right, so my bill total is 1327 44. Now, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I have a little one over here that I was trying to, um, cheat off of but I left my cell phone bill off somehow I I don't know so yeah so I think what I'm gonna do how do I wanna do this do I wanna stop this here and then yes I think I'm gonna stop this here you yeah, guys this is just how I set up my paycheck bill tracker and then when I do my cash envelopes and sinker funds we're gonna bring this back out and also let me just go ahead and do this while I'm here. So regardless of what I get what I do, anything else I do, I um put no less than a hundred dollars in for my savings. So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, let's do that for now. I had some extra plans for some extra debt, but since I left the bill off, this might throw this off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's right now. Um, so I know I had eight bills. That might throw that off, so let's just wait on that. So yes, this is what it looks like when I take into consideration my income total. But y'all know what? I kind of need to walk y'all through this part. Oh, I don't know how I want to do this because I like to put into my budget my actual sinking funds and stuff. But you know what? I will just go back in and write that later. I guess I won't write no totals. Is that what I'm going to do? Because this going to be thrown off unless I leave that out. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just leave this right here and then we about to jump into the fun part. All right, you guys, so we are here. Let's go ahead and see how the sticker is gonna lay down. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous, y'all. I don't know why I'm so damn go nervous because it should be okay, right? It should be okay, right? It should be okay, right? Right? <gasps> it's okay! It's, it's crooked. And I'm... Mm, I'm mad at myself about that, y'all. It's crooked as I'll get out. But it's actually okay, and I'm mad because I snatched up two pages. But let's just go ahead and um, I was so scared about laying that dang on sticker down that I ended up doing a cricket. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And yeah, it's hella cricket. <laughs> oh god, it's so cricket. Well, let's just hope we have enough room. I'm gonna try to stick with the same little format. We don't see though. I probably need to come over like a tad bit more. I could have came over a tad bit more. That would have been fine. All right, so for my incomes, you guys know I do full time. And I do savings. I don't know. I don't tell y'all my numbers. For real, y'all, I'm kind of liking this better already. So, I'm just saying. But, just saying. Just saying. Oh, I keep forgetting that I could come over more. See y'all? So, y'all learning with me about what we can and cannot do with this planner. Hmm. Y'all mad at it? Cause I ain't mad at it. I'm, I'm really not. Let me move this phone back over here. And let's go ahead and write in due dates. So you guys, this is, I'm telling you, I write my budget so many times. Oh, let me put in my lines before I go any further. Because y'all know your girl will start writing all cricket and then be mad at myself. I don't know how far I need to go down on this page for real, for real. Oh, y'all, I kind of like this. I ain't going to even front. 
And I don't gotta worry about a doggone coil. Hmm. Can't even front that I don't like this. And I am using a black inner gel pen. I'm trying to get away from purple so much, y'all. Seven six is iTunes, and that's my storage. And I'm not saying, and y'all, I would tell anybody my biggest advice for anybody is to make sure that you do your budget more than one time. Because as you guys can see, even though I did my budget more than once, I still freaking messed up. I still forgot something, and I don't know how I did that. But I would tell anybody to do their budget more than once because, yeah, if you don't do your budget more than once, you gonna miss something. You're bound to miss something. Um, also, it doesn't. It helps so much because you can tweak so many different things by doing your budget more than once. So yeah, I I recommend it. I totally recommend it. And you guys, I'm like looking at my um my budget, right? And I'm like, wait, I really don't have that many bills, but I have like big bills. So, I mean, I'm starting to feel like it's possibly going to be a light at the end of the tunnel one day. Not on time soon, but maybe one day. And yeah, if I can just get... um. If I could just get my freaking credit card bill down, y'all, I would be so happy, so overjoyed. So happy. Um, so, what kind of is going to suck about this a little bit, y'all, is, I don't, I'm not going to be able to do the totals with you guys right now because I got to make sure my cash envelopes and sinking funds are correct because as I said before I messed something up so I'm not gonna be able to do the um the total right now I'll probably come back and just once I figure it out <laughs> insert the clip so don't judge me this is my first time doing it like this y'all but honestly I like it <laughs> I was scared to say that, but honestly, I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I sure do. I'm gonna leave space in case, you know, I have to write something. I try to bring it over a little bit more this time, y'all, so that I can, yup, that's perfect, so that I can do it. And I'm gonna use this script, this strip. Oh, I like it, you guys, I like it. So that's what the budget is gonna look like. And I think, am I gonna use, I think I could, I'm probably gonna use the back pages, so yes. All right, so you guys, that is what my July budget breakdown by paycheck looks like. So yeah, keep watching and um, we're gonna go through, you know, the rest like we normally do. Let me know if you guys like this format um, as far as like me taking you with the budget by paycheck workbook and then showing you like my entire process. If you don't like this process, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Hey guys, I did want to jump in and say that I was able to total up my cash envelopes, which was $100, sinking funds, which was $424, and my budgeted total overall for the month of July came down to $1,946.99.